Welcome back friends, this is Fraser from FTR Studio. Friends, do you want to create rolling animations like this red carpet rolling? Then let's get started. For that first I have taken a cube, one primitive, which can add about 50 subdivisions along the length and add couple to support. With that, I have just added a simple blend and given a red color to it. So coming to the main part, for creating this rolling animation, we will be using the bend deformer. Once you click that, you can see the bend handle. Just align it along the axis of rotation. So turn that to 90 degrees. And with increasing the curvature, you can see it's bending. And at 180 degrees with the curvature of the curve, you can see it gives you a complete circle, right? But in order to get it rolling or create a roll, we need to increase this curvature. So for that, we keep this curve at 720, so that will give you more loops of curves, or more spirals, but this is not visible correctly, because they are all overlapping or intersecting. To make it visually appear, we need to rotate the handle a bit. So with the gizmo, just rotate a little bit, so that we can see the rolls or the mesh appear as a spiral. So keep it tight or loose as you wish according to your concept. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. Once that's done, coming towards the animation part. You can notice below that in the timeline I have 120 frames. Okay, so we'll be animating for 120 frames. And for that we'll be using the translate option. Currently the roll is wound up. So to move the gizmo, you can see the roll starts unrolling or the carpet in this case starts unrolling and opens up. We will either translate Y and X axis because the rotation will be a bit here. So we will take the first frame as it is and we will key it. And then we will move to the 120th frame and move this gizmo to the extreme end where it completely unrolls and opens up. This will automatically key that frame. Once that's done, you can check the animation. If you want to do some faking, you can do. Uh, you can go to the graph editor and also change to linear if you wish to do that. So friends, I hope you have learned a very quick and easy way of creating rolling animations like this. You can try it out on various objects and various kinds of animations you are free to explore. Friends, if you like this video, please give a like and share your comments. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notifications on more videos. So see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye, take care.